everybody, welcome back, Falcon Dead State. We're here at the map. We just finished up the human campsite. After this, or after the last episode, I should say, I went ahead and went to the Steam forums because I wanted to find out what was going on with that quote unquote morale penalty for killing people. I still don't know the answer. I, I still feel like it's a really gray area in terms of um, what's supposed to be done, what's not supposed to be done. The developers are saying that killing looters is going to take a negative effect on you because you are effectively killing people. However, from the start of the game, it's kind of made clear to you that, like, you know, you should probably attack looters because otherwise they're going to attack you. So instead of being waiting around to get attacked yourself, you know, you want to take the initiative and attack them, otherwise they kind of flood you, swarm you, and you're kind of in a tough spot here. However, some people are saying that it's not supposed to be that way, some people are saying it is, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to continue killing people just because that's what I'm kind of used to. I'm not, I mean, not to sound like a sociopath or anything like that, because I'm not. But, you know, if I let the looters get the upper hand on me, then they'll swarm me, we'll have a harder time with them, so, you know, whatever. I'm gonna continue playing in my way. If it bites me in the ass in the long-term run, then I guess it bites me in the ass. There's really not much I can do about it. So, I'm gonna go down over to here this time around. I do believe there's another location over here we can kind of check out. So, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I'm still not completely sure about the whole aspect of it. We have Alano Residential over here, good. So, I was hoping to find. So, let me go in here really quickly. However, it, I'm still very concerned about the whole morale thing. I, I hope it doesn't come back and bite me in the ass too hard here. But, again, it's very, I don't know, it's, I'm, I, I, again, I am very, at this point, I, I am enjoying the game. I really am, but at the same time, I'm really upset about the whole, I guess, uh, not complacency when it comes to, like, you know, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. I mean, technically, the, the worst enemies in the game aren't the zombies. It's the, it's the humans, obviously. It's the looters. So, why would I, you know, not take advantage of the fact of taking, like, you know, pot shots at them before they even get a chance to attack me? However, apparently, when they warn you, like, hey, um, get out of here, it means, you know, hey, get out of here, oh, hey, <laughs> speaking of the devil, looters. There you go, okay, so now, I hope this is fine, alright, I opened the door, looters popped up and attacked me, so, am I gonna take morale penalties for this? I fucking better not, look at this, male looter. We also have a uh, Nervous Looter, and then we have Cowardly Looter. So, I don't know, man. I'm just really confused about the whole aspect of it, and we're going to continue playing the way I play, and hopefully um, it doesn't really bite me in the ass here too much. There's zombies in the map. We saw in the action pool there were some zombies. This is the edge of this map. Let me zoom out here a little bit, see what the rest of the map is looking like before we get involved here. If I'm right, this could be the map where you recruit the war veteran, but I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but it looks similar to it, but I guess it's probably another one. The house looks a little bit different, though. It, I think it was a little bit different last time I was here, or at least I guess it was the other map. This is the wrong map, but either way, this is a place I want to check out. I mean, look at these guys. They fucking... This guy, does he even have a head? Oh, he does have a head. It's just blending into the, you know, floor itself. So I was gonna say, you know, I mean, either way, these guys are bad guys, right? They have to be fucking bad guys. Look, there's two dead people in there. So these people, obviously, to me, are bad guys. However, Joe is bleeding, so we gotta keep that in mind. Alrighty, so how are we gonna start this off with? Remember, the firearms do work really good against humans. Do I wanna take a shot right now? Let's find out. 100% chance to hit, undamaged. I say you take the shot, Joe. Right in the face. I like that he can survive a gunshot to the face, too, by the way. That's, uh, <laughs> really realistic right there. He's like the Terminator. It's like, oh, I've been shot. It's fine. I'll be back. Let me take another shot here because we might as well. So two gunshots right there. 55 dB. Getting a little bit noisy. I understand that. But that's okay. It's worth it because we're going to try to get this guy out of the way. At least one dude down. Remember, this guy has a handgun and this guy has a baseball bat. He's like Ken Griffey Jr. But you're just kind of winding up for that swing off the parks here. So Renee's next now. Luckily, our people are kind of lined up over here, so we don't have to waste too many turns in terms of getting up here. The other thing I was told about in the comments is that I've been doing it wrong with Renee. I should really pay attention to the damage output over here. 9 to 13 with the uh, monkey wrench. I think she gets more damage with the hammer just because um, she doesn't have the strength necessary to kind of wield this properly. So, you know, hey, the more you learn. Let me go ahead and set this as active for now, though. 75% <clears throat> chance to hit literally right next to the guy. That's pretty terrible, Renee. Let me walk over here and get a shot, though. 90%, I like that one. So he's dead. Dunsky. Now, you're probably wondering, Falcon, why are you wasting all your bullets right now? And I'm gonna tell you, that's because I don't want to suffer from the whole too-good-to-use system thing. And what I mean by that is the fact that... Let me move you behind Joe now. You'll probably heal him next turn if I'm right. 
Uh, and that's about it, right? Let me switch back over to this. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because the on my beta run, I had so much ammunition saved up. Thankfully, he missed on Joe right there. That guy's probably not going to miss. Oh, he did. Good. Lucked out a little bit. So, no, so now um, Walter White over here is going to be able to get a good shot off of this guy, hopefully. Not quite. Not quite. Alrighty, so we're going to be moving back over through here. Looking at 85 now. Should we take 85 or should I move one more time? You know what? Might as well just move one more time. Get the 90% shot in here. That really pisses me off to no extent. Okay, well that was a waste of my time. Let me just get over here just so I could draw their ire to me and not Joel. Alrighty, so Joel's bleeding a little bit. That's gonna happen, Joel. Let's see, you wanna take a gunshot here? 38 dB. Should we go after this guy with the gun or this guy with the bad? I'm gonna say we go after the guy with the bad, just because I'm pretty sure he'll probably more than likely attack Joel other than Walter White. And I guess this guy's gonna probably shoot Walter White because he's his nearest target. So let's go after this guy instead. Another gunshot, 56 dB, and I guess we'll do it one more time. <clears throat> and luckily enough, that was for the kill. Good. Good shit, Joe. Alrighty, so now let me just have you... Oh, you're, you're done with your moves. So with Renee, let me just heal you really quickly then. There you go. 95, no more bleeding. All good. Now, Renee has the possibility of a shot here. I just don't trust her ability to land this, though. Let me say this is active. I said active. Oh, Joe's in the way. Gotcha. <clears throat> so, you know, if I move over here, 65% chance for a shot. I don't really like it too much, so I'm just going to actually hold off on that. Let me just set this as active again. Let me just end my turn here. Thankfully, he did go after Walter White, as I was hoping for. Two gunshots? Um, I wasn't hoping for that, but, you know, I guess can't really complain. So, 80% chance for an attack here. I, I guess we'll take that one. Might as well, right? Thankfully, oh, dude, one hit kill. I love it. I want some more of it. Uh, we're at 119, though, by the way, so, you know, we were kind of really dangerously close to drawing a horde of zombies towards us. But now he's down, let's actually get out of here. Let's let the noise level relax a little bit. <clears throat> oh, there comes the zombies. Good, good. Oh, shit. All right, so let's just move out of the way. Oh, three zombies, as a matter of fact. Oh, shit, you know what's the problem? They could turn these people into zombies. Hey, hey, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Zombie man, stop. I just realized the um, error of my ways. If they come over there and you see these bodies, they'll be like, Oh, look, succulent dessert or succulent dinner, whatever time of the day it might be right now. I guess it's morning, right? Succulent breakfast. Let's uh, munch on these guys and turn them into zombies and give Falcon more issues. I, I don't want that happening. So, instead, Joel, let me have you go one, two. Is that 85? That's 85. Take the shot just to draw him towards us, hopefully. All right, so good shot, Joe. Just move out of the way now. Renee, let's get you a little bit close here. And I'm not going to take another shot. I think that's more than enough. Or do I want to take one shot here? What are we looking at? We're looking at 65. Almost dead. Let me try it. RNGesus, Jesus, thank you, God. Alrighty. So let's just end turn with her. Here comes the zombie man. Let me switch over to Walter White. You guys are not going to feast on these bodies, all right? I'm just telling you right now. Okay, cool. Well, apparently I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna fuse with the zombie now. That's cool. Alrighty, Joel. So here's what we do, my man. You get to switch over to your regular weapon now. No more gunshots. More... Enough of that. You've been having too much fun with those gunshots now. Let's swap you out over here with Renee really quickly. We'll move you over here. And now, is there a possibility you could get an attack in? Or is that gonna happen because of Walter White in the area? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get an attack off, unfortunately. So let's just move you back for now. And unfortunately, Walter White is just being a pain in the dick right there by fusing with that zombie. Alright. So here's what we can do. Can take a shot over here, 55% chance to hit. Not good, but I'm gonna try it. And you know, I expected that with 55% chance to hit, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, you gotta take the shot every now and then. Do I try it one more time? Ugh. Yeah, sure, why not? Good! You actually landed one. It was probably minimal damage, I understand that. But it's some damage. Alrighty, so you are wounded. This guy is undamaged. We need to get rid of the guys closer to the bodies because they're the ones who worry me that they might, you know, come over here and reanimate these guys. So, what I'm going to do is move behind Zombie. Unfortunately, I can't swap to... Well, I could swap over to this, but it's going to take two AP to do so. And then I don't think I'll have enough AP to actually get that, actual, that last hit in. Or will I? I do! Excellent. So, blunt weapon. Let's actually go into my party command. Aim for the head, everybody. 100% chance to hit. Take it. Very good. 
Badly wounded and wounded. That's what I like to see. Now, here's the problem. Do we leave Walter White over here to draw in both attacks, or do we let this guy go after Renee? You know what? Again, Walter White's been hurt quite a bit already, so let's just move him back over here. I hope this will draw this man over here and then this guy to Renee. Perfect. That's exactly how that, I wanted that to work out. Now, I wasn't expecting that, though. I didn't want this guy to munch down Renee that way. Alrighty, so now it's up to Joe here to save Renee. All you gotta do is hit this dude that's over here, apparently. I'm not even gonna talk about what he's doing to Renee, but all you gotta do is land his attack, my friend. Can you do that? Can you do that? Badly wounded. Come on, my friend. Let's, um... Let's go for a cripple attack, just in case, too, huh? Why can I attack this arm? There we go. Badly wounded. Didn't cripple him, but uh, that wasn't enough to get him off of Renee. That's quite surprising. Alright. Move over here. And end your turn, I suppose. Now, Renee's gonna get up, push the zombie off of him. It's gonna cost us a few AP points. But hopefully, there should be enough to get a good attack in here. Let me switch over to the blunt weapon. Almost dead. And what's your attack chance? 80. Let's move you over here. Get an attack off. Enough for the kill. Thank you, Renee. <clears throat> okay, so now we're back over here to Walter White, which is where I'd rather like to be. 95% chance. Take it. And hopefully one more should be enough for the kill. Thankfully, that is the case. Alright. Let's check this body out. You still can, you can still carry a few more items, so this guy has uh, three bolts in him. Good. And my turn. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I could kill these looters on the premise that they seem like bad dudes, alright? Morale, don't fuck me up, alright? They're in a house with dead bodies, you know, dead humans no less, what it at least it looks like to me like they're dead humans. So if that's the case, don't tell me that they're good people, game. Now, here's a way to counteract this. There is a way to counteract, by the way. Don't reanimate, motherfucker. The way to counteract it is by, if you want to kill looters freely without taking any sort of penalty hit, you could use people that are kind of um, insensitive. Max works pretty good, and I heard there was another dude as well that you could kind of use for this endeavor. Uh, I forget who the other guy is, but I do know that Max is one of them. And again, Max is like one of my favorite dudes of the whole game, because he's so fucking amazing. So, obviously, once we get Max, I'm gonna, you know, utilize Max completely. For a second, right, that guy, guy was doing either sit-ups or getting up and reanimating. Alright, so this guy's dead too. Perfect. So let's check this out. Good items on him. Take everything. Good. End my turn. Okay, so... I am leading myself to believe right now. Let me turn on the Z key here so we can see what we can loot. I am leading myself to believe that there are a few more zombies in this map. Where they might be? Well, that's beyond. That's beside what I do know. Cigarettes on this dude, though. That's fine. And then we have a bookshelf over here. We'll check this out, too. Excellent. Alright, we have a fridge over here, too. Let's check out this fridge. Got the uh, got the munchies. Killing um, zombies gives me munchies, by the way. Apparently, it's like my own personal high. It's not really true. I don't even know what a personal high is. Why well, I may know what a personal high is. Masturbation, maybe. I, I, you know, never mind. Never mind. Not even going to go there right now. There is a bathroom shelf over here. Let's check this out. Antibiotics. Good. And coating. That's what I like to see, my man. That's what I like to see. Alright, so we're going to come over here really quickly. There's another restroom here we can check out. Wardrobe with some romance novel and fiction novel. Apparently we had a couple in here. And by the couple, I do mean that the man was the one reading the romance novel, and the female, the wife, was probably, you know, reading the science, the sci-fi novel. Why would you think otherwise? Oh, hey, by the way, look at these two guys. They fuse and now they're just fucking, um, hovering around. Are you guys alright? Huh? Are you guys okay? What the fuck's wrong with you guys? Cool, apparently from death state we turn into fucking exorcism state. Alright, I guess I'll have to fucking, you know, find a priest to exorcise you guys later. Jesus, that's terrifying. Alright, there's a barbecue back here. Let's go and find out what's happening in this grill. Gasoline, that's what I like to see all the time. Alrighty, anything else over here for me to kind of gather before we check out another house? But, um, yeah. Back to the novel thing, I mean, why would you imagine- Why would you think that the female happens to be the one reading the, the romance novel? You know what that is? I'll tell you what that is, that's sexism. Are you sexist? <laughs> I apologize. I don't really stand anywhere between the sexism thing. I'm neither for nor against, you know. I I personally just try to avoid things like that. Like, there's such a, you know, if you're a gamer or anything like that. Or even just if you keep up with, you know, what's going on with the daily news and everything. There's such a scandal going on with the whole, you know, sexism in games and, you know, this and that. And, oh my lord. 
I don't know what happened, man. It, it was so weird because it just came out of nowhere, too. Like, everything was fine. <laughs> and then it's like, people getting mad at, like, internet figures because of their stand on certain things. And it's just so weird to me. I'm just like, what happened? What, I thought it was about playing video games, man. Why are we turning this into some sort of, like, political agenda now? I don't know. I'm just... You know, again, I don't. That's the reason why I don't get involved because it feels that even not taking a stand pisses people off. You know, there's all the zombies that we noticed here earlier. So yeah, even not taking a stand pisses people off. So you know, it's there's no um, there is no pleasing people. You know, like some people be like, oh, why don't you take a stand, pussy? And some people are like, why don't you take a stand, dick? Again, mind you, I said pussy and dick because you know they're both you know reproductive organs, and I'm trying to keep it as neutral as possible, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, whatever. I'm done talking about it just because, you know, again, people get upset, and my goal here is not to upset people, it's just to entertain people by being an idiot. So let's come over here and let's um get the jump on one of these dudes. Slightly wounded, wounded, and then we have this guy over here who's just undamaged. Apparently this guy is kind of a, uh, a pervert. All of them are perverts in reality. This is a really terrifying picture, honestly. Like, you know, Dead State isn't really a scary game per se, like it's... You know what's a scary game? Missing a fucking target that has its back to you and you're in front of it. That's a scary game. But, um, that's isn't necessarily a scary game, but if you use your imagination a little bit, how terrifying would it be if you just, like, you know, woke up, you went to the living room, and, and every window you see a zombie just staring in? Like, I would shit myself. Like, literally, I would just defecate myself right then and there. No lie. Let's, um, get Joel out of the way here. Renee? Renee, can you, yeah, yeah, swap with him, please, if you don't mind. Now, let's get an attack over here. Oh, God, Renee's gonna get jacked up right now, too. Because she, she's not gonna be able to kill this guy. Ah, uh, she actually killed that guy. <laughs> Renee's like, you were sane, motherfucker? Um, I can't check that. You're too far? Okay. Well, uh, to me, it looks like I'm really nearby, but okay, whatever you say, Gabe. All right, he's gonna come after me. Please don't knock her down anymore. Like, you know, I know she gets knocked down, she gets up again. Never gonna let me down, I get knocked down, I get up again, whatever. Alright, so two hits over here, let's go with um, number one, and by the way, let's get the party command going here too. 100% chance to hit, that's what I like to see. One, and two. Not enough for the guild, but you know, we're getting there. Alright, Joe, it's all on you, my man. Joe buddy. Joe buddy. Hit him with the shoddy. Big things, big diamond ring, whatever. I'm trying to free flow a little bit. Why? Well, I don't know why. I don't know why I do the things that I do sometimes, but I just do them. And at the at the time at the time it feels all right, but then when I think about it, it's kind of like, did I really just say that? It's one of those things. Alrighty, pretty good so far. Let's uh, move back over here. We have one more zombie man to deal with. I should have probably taken a better, I guess, uh, attention at the action pool here and seen there's more zombies. But for now, we're gonna go after this guy, undamaged. Alrighty, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into cripple. Get a cripple in, and then get a regular attack in. 100% chance to hit, do it. Crippled him, perfect. Now, if we remember the basics of cripple, crippling makes it so these guys start, um, you know, I don't know, start having seizures and shit, and they, instead of attacking you, they just seize away. They seize the moment, in a, in a sense. Let's attack over here, nice. Good shit, Joel. Teaching me a thing or two about yourself right now. Grab all these items, alrighty. So, so far so good. I'm liking this map. I don't think I've ever been to this map before. And I'm going to try to make it a purpose to find areas that I haven't been to in the beta run, just for the benefit of people that have been watching since the beta run. And number two, for the benefit of, like, you know, the aspect of discovery. Now this door is locked. Let's, um... Oh, there's still two more zombies here. So more than likely, they're probably in here. Okay. And... But did you see that? Did you see that little avatar? It looked like the avatar of the survivor from the human campsite. So that's going to lead me to believe now that... Killing people here is going to give me a negative morale. And that pisses me off because I still don't understand the morale system too well. But it's okay. For now, we are going to go in here if I have to, I suppose. So here's what we do, guys. You stay over here. Let me switch this over to a one-man solo party. You guys hang out over here. Let me just take a little peek. Nothing's going on in here. All right. This is a really weird entrance to a house. Uh, let me pop this door open. Fine, still. Oh, God! Get out or I'll shoot. Okay. So here is the um, thing I was talking about. Look, bro. Let me get into the party system here. Okay. 
killing that man because he's a survivor will cause a negative penalty to our morale. This is what I gather from the morale system. What they mentioned in the forums was that if you walk in to a place and they warn you to get out, get the hell out of there. If you kill them, then you are indeed risking a morale penalty, assuming who's in your party. If Max is in there and somebody else, you're fine. But Renee and Joe will run and squeal about what you did to Davis. And then Davis is going to put me over his lap and smack me because that's his thing, that's his M.O. So, here's the thing. You have to weigh your options. Do you want to loot that place? Is it really that important to you? Or do you just, um... Kill the dude, take the morale penalty, just to loot him. So, because we already have kind of a big negative morale penalty, all dead inside. It means there's a it means there's a body inside. Oh really? Huh, you don't say. You're really perceptive, aren't you? Locked? Everything's locked. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna just not go in there and loot that man. I'm gonna bypass it because I don't want to necessarily get a uh more negative penalties. Okay, here comes the zombies, as expected. Guys, you want to just run a little bit, you know, just to get yourself out of the harm's way? <laughs> Zombie's like, hey, who's out here? Get off my lawn. It's like, zombie, man, you don't even treat your lawn well anymore. You're, you're dead. What are you going to do with a lawn? You're not Hank Hill. Would Hank Hill take care of his lawn in the post apocalyptic world? Have you considered that? That'd be pretty crazy. Let me go over here and um, do my command. So let's do a cripple first. Downed him in one hit. That's what I'd like to see. And then we'll go over to basic attack. One more attack here. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Joe, you come over here. Oh, there's like three zombies, as a matter of fact, left over. Oh, not a cripple, my friend. Just a regular basic attack. Just finish him off, if you don't mind. There we go. There's still more zombies, though, remember. We saw at least two more in that little action pool. Let's check out uh, their mail. Who gets their newspaper delivered in their actual mailbox? I mean, isn't that like more of a thing? Especially with houses, don't you just like have a paper where it runs by or throws it in your front lawn? I just realized that it runs by. I don't think paperboys run from place to place. I mean, I haven't had any paperboy experience myself, but I'd imagine they're more than likely in bicycles. Although I'm thinking about my grandparent time, because I'm an old man apparently. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure kids nowadays with paper routes have like fucking Lamborghinis and like Mustangs and shit. Why a person that owns a Mustang or a Lamborghini has to fucking sell newspapers from door to door is beyond me, but just humor me for a second here. Alrighty, we need to go in there. That is for a fact. But what he's going to do, we're going to do this next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I agree, leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I'm not sure what to expect in here, but things are going pretty well so far to the fact that I'm going to probably try to hit up another location after this one, so we're not going to wrap up the day just yet. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like, the support does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.